In the aftermath of the first test flight, we are all still standing. <laughs> Me and the car. Um, I actually think it went remarkably well. Keep in mind the chassis, the engine mounts, the gearbox mounts, the front suspension including the hairpins, the back suspension, the differential, four link. Everything was custom built right here in the shop without fancy equipment. I think for a first ride, first drive, it went great. Join me as I walk through, evaluate what I've learned and discuss what I need to do next to improve the ride. <laughs> Orthodox. My name is Diff and I'm addicted to rat rods. <laughs> Welcome to Rat Rods for Africa, a small one man shop in the middle of a forest where I realize rusty dreams. Okay, so let's start at the front and look at my very first concern, which is the transverse spring. It is way too stiff and the front ride is very very hard. I kind of knew this right from the start. If you look carefully, I'm going to zoom in. You will actually see there's some spaces that sits between the spring and the actual mount to the chassis to take up some slack because the spring has so little arch. With so little arch, it's got very little travel. And also I think it's way too thick. So it's too stiff. So the next plan, I'm going to actually take this spring out. Have a custom spring bolt. Or made. I'll tell them what I want. And in one upcoming video, I will show you how I go about it. Here's a view of the spring or the front front suspension looking vertically down. There's the transverse spring. Attachment points to the shackles either side and then attached to the front axle. So the spring, spring itself is attached to the chassis at this point only with some U-bolts. And it can actually do this. And then of course it's got the hairpins on either side as well. That connects it, there we go. Onto the chassis again. I suspect that my front axle is not parallel to the differential or the back axle. So I'm talking about this kind of thing. Um, I'm going to check that by measuring from the center of the front wheels to the center of the back wheels on either side and then I'll compare those dimensions and if need be I need to adjust that a little bit. I can do it easily because I have allowed a method in which to do it. Let me show you. So the hairpins that on either side of the car are essentially what's keeping that axle square to the car, square to the frame, shall I say it like that. I can adjust it. Right there you can see a nut and thread. I hope we're focusing good. So to fine tune it is not a problem. By the way I can also adjust my caster with these very same nuts. So it looks like most of my problems is in the front end. You know what? Problem is a bad word. Let's call them challenges. Challenges is a positive expression. So my other challenge is shock absorber in the front. When we were driving and towing the car at about 100 kilometers an hour behind the bucky, I noticed some wheel hop, which obviously means shock absorber issue. 
Now this is, car has got friction shocks, so my girly legs are actually shock absorbers. If you've done a friction shock works, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a video specifically on it. Um, the, the, the challenge is only that I don't have enough friction, so there's not enough force, is that the right word, to keep that wheel down. Um, I just need to change the material that I'm using to create my friction. I've used the soft tissue rubber, which is all I had here. I just need to find something a little bit better. I don't know, maybe leather or a piece of conveyor belt. A little bit of experimentation. So once I've changed that, I can adjust the friction by tightening these nuts and we should then be better. In one of my previous videos I showed the problem with the steering box. Those very worn bushes, a lot of play in the box. So I'm gonna rip that out, make up some new bushes so we can eliminate that problem. <coughs> and the rattles, oh my word! Look, I know it's a rat rod, it's no insulation, no carpeting, you like to hear the noises, but man oh man, too many rattles. <laughs> I've already identified a few, so we're going to have to definitely look at that. Let me show you. So this rattle is pretty obvious. It's where the load bin sits behind the cab and that gap right there is just too tight, it's almost touching. You can actually see <laughs> how it's already made a nice fat dent in the body. Well, luckily it's a rat rod, so we don't care much about that. But to get the rattle gone, I'm just gonna cut this to get a bigger gap right there. Okay, right here we have the cause of another massive rattle drives you freaking mad because what happens is right here the metal bomber seat there's just a little gap there metal there as well so when you drive the slight movement man oh man it's driving you nuts so yes i think i'll stick in a piece of rubber right there gotta get rid of it <laughs> yeah, on the back side everything seems fine. Um, I think about the only thing I can think of is, yes, the battery <laughs> is not strapped down yet. I could have caused a rattle or a bump or two. Um, suspension, everything seems to be working out well. No complaints there, it all looked good. My four-link seems to be working very well. You can see one of my links right there. Um, I did bottom out the suspension, but okay, I was going quite fast over a speed bump. <laughs> um, so I suppose it's to be expected. I can adjust my ride height if I want to. If I go there, you can see this big old bar here can be adjusted. It's attached to a cup in which the spring sits. So by playing with the nuts I can push it down, which means I'm trying to compress the spring, which means I actually raise the whole car. But it seems to be fine as it is, so yeah, we will see how it goes. As far as the mechanicals go, there's no problems. Everything is lacquer. Um, starting at the back, standard shift, Differential, that's good. Prop shaft, I shortened myself. No vibrations there. Turbo 350 water box, smooth changing, everything's cool. Stock standard, all straight six, 4.1 Chevy motor. Runs like a charm. Um, I haven't done anything to it, but it's great. It's sweet, it's got enough power. If I floor it on a dirt road, those back wheels are really talking. <laughs> um, if there is an issue, it's not even an issue, I think, but it does run a little bit rich. Um, the old standard carburetor is a little worn out. So I could always rebuild that at some point. It's not a major concern for me. 
Brakes, brakes are great. So yeah, mechanically everything's lucky. There was no challenges there. I'm, I'm very happy with that. <laughs> cool, so I'm gonna um, tackle those issues, challenges I mentioned. I'm gonna start with the front spring. So I'll show you what I do there. And then uh, once all these things are done, we'll take it for another test drive and see how she performs then. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you feel that I've added some value, please hit the subscribe button. That means a lot to me. Um, and it will help me to continue to give you some great content. See you next time.